Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I'm finally back vlogging again This video is going to be a little weekend vlog I'm gonna take you guys along on my Saturday and then it's Easter Sunday So it's a pretty fun little weekend vlog I hope you guys enjoy it and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already But before I get into the rest of today's vlog, I want to thank our place for sponsoring today's video I am beyond excited to be working with them. You guys have probably already heard of their always pan i've been using it and loving it for many months now and i just recently got it in the new terracotta color this is the new color and i wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys about why i love this pan so much not only because it looks so cute in my kitchen it's also super functional the reason why it's called the always pan is because it's meant to replace basically every other pot and pan that you already have in your kitchen which for someone like me that has pretty minimal storage space in my little kitchen i really need to maximize the space that I do have so having one pan that replaces basically everything else is amazing it's designed to replace eight different pieces of cookware I use this every single time I cook anything on the stove I love using this for sauteing veggies boiling pasta I'm about to make an omelet this morning which you guys will see but you can basically make anything in this and it's also perfect for one pot meals it comes with a lid of course and then it also comes with this little steamer that just sits right into the pan and I use this all the time for steaming veggies and it comes with a little wooden spatula that rests perfectly on the handle so you don't have to make a mess on your counters ever again. It's also made with a non-toxic, non-stick ceramic coating and formulated without Teflon and other toxic metals that could be potentially harmful that you definitely don't want touching your food. And my absolute favorite part about this pan is how easy it is to clean. I feel like saying non-stick is an understatement. Literally the hardest to clean grease stains just glide right off of this. It's actually crazy and my least favorite part about cooking is the cleanup afterwards so at least the always pan makes it super easy it also comes with this little natural sponge that cleans the pan super gently but also really quickly and easily i also have the our place dish set i got the dinner for four set which comes with an always pan a steamer and a spatula and then four plates four bowls and four cups everything in this set is so beautiful and the dishes also all stack really easily which again is great for storing things in small kitchens if you guys want to check out our place and the always pan or the dinner for four set i will have everything linked down below i seriously cannot recommend this pan enough for you guys it is by far my favorite item that i have in my entire kitchen i use it every single day and it has genuinely made cooking and cleaning up afterwards so much easier now that i have it i really don't think i could live without it so thank you so so much again to our place for sponsoring today's video like seriously a dream sponsorship for me and definitely check out the always pan if you haven't already and now let's get into the rest of this little weekend vlog <music> heading out to run a few errands. Oh, my lips are dry. 
I'm heading to Ulta. I need a few little things from there. And then I also am in the mood to go thrifting today. So I'm gonna go to two thrift stores, I think. I kinda just wanna look around. I really wanna find some just like long sleeve oversized button downs, just plain. I really want a white one and then maybe some other colors if I can find them. Probably like men's button ups. Just because I feel like those are a staple like versatile piece in your wardrobe but also i think they're going to be a really big trend for the spring and summer really cute to throw on over a bathing suit or even just to wear with like pants or shorts over like a crop top i think it's a really cute look so i feel like that's something that's really really easy to find at any thrift store hopefully fingers crossed and then i'm also just going to look around and see if i can find any good things so that's what we're doing right now now i just got out of the shower i'm waiting for my hair to kind of air dry but i wanted to show you what i got from ulta and the thrift store really quickly i got some good finds at the thrift store i went to two thrift stores but only ended up getting things from one these are all from unique i know there's like a ton of locations of unique thrift stores around me i don't know if they're everywhere but they always have some pretty good stuff every time i go so i got five items and i spent 23 dollars first i got two of the shirts that i was talking about i didn't find a white button up they obviously had a ton of white button ups but they were all too like stiff instead of kind of like flowy loose button ups to throw over a bikini or something um so i didn't find a white one i might have to just order one on depop or something but i did get this green one and i love the color of this it's super cute this is like the perfect material like it's lightweight flowy oversized but i just really liked this kind of bright green color i'll put some pinterest inspo on the screen here so you guys can see like how i picture styling these but I'm sure you get what I'm saying. And then I also found this yellow one. I just thought the material and fit of this, again, was perfect. I feel like button-ups like these are just a staple for this season. And then I also found this cute little halter top. It looks like it's going to be a little bit big. I'm not trying anything on right now because I want to wash everything first. But I really liked the color of this. And it's giving me very, like, early 2000s with the halter top. And I feel like halters are so in right now. I think it's so cute. And then the last two items I got are just these scarves. Every time I go to the thrift store, there's always a huge section of silky scarves like this. And you can do so much with these just like square scarves. So I got this one. It's kind of like brown tones. You can obviously wear these as like a headband or a headscarf. I really wanted to get this to wear as a top. So again, I'll put some Pinterest inspo on the screen here, but one way to wear it is you can kind of fold it in half and then do like tie it in the back or you can even like wrap it up into one line and do like, no, this might be too small for that actually, but the other way will work, I think. So I just got this one and figured there's a ton of things I can do with that. And then I also got this one, which I'm not sure if this is going to work. It's not like a square. It's like this one long just strip. If anything, I could definitely use this as a headband. But I was hoping that I can wear it like this and like tie it in the front. I think that might actually work. Or I could wear it like this and tie it in the back. There's a ton of ways to make a little scarf into a top and just wear it with like denim shorts or jeans or whatever. So... I got both of those and I think they're really cute. So that's everything that I thrifted. From Ulta, I just got a few things. First, I got the Benefit Gimme Brow Brow Gel. This is such an OG, but I've actually never tried it. I got the shade three, so it is tinted. It's like a light brown shade. And I've heard amazing things about this. So I'm gonna try this out when I do my makeup in a little bit. Also just got a restock of my all-time favorite concealer, Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light Medium Honey. And then I got a few sun products. So first I saw this and I remember last summer seeing this on TikTok everywhere. It's the Maui Bay Browning Lotion. It's like a tanning lotion, I guess. And I just remember it was like sold out everywhere last summer. So I just saw it sitting there on the shelf and I was like, I might as well pick this up. I don't know if this works, but it's supposed to just like get you tan fast. 
I don't know, influenced by TikTok. But then I also just got a new base sunscreen. This is the Sun Bum Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. I saw this in Hiram's like best drugstore base sunscreens and I wanted to try one that was not like super expensive since I go through sunscreen so frequently. So this one was like $15, which I feel like is a good mid-range sunscreen. So hopefully this doesn't like break me out or anything, but I'm gonna try this out. Um, and then also from Sunbum, last thing I got is just an SPF lip balm because I always lose these and my lips get sunburnt very easily. So good to have this. That's everything from Ulta. I just started doing my makeup because I'm going into the city tonight. Sorry that you can hear the laundry in the background. It's really loud. But I'm getting dinner and drinks tonight with my friend Ingrid. I'm actually starting a new little series on my YouTube channel very soon. It's kind of going to be like a New York City guide. So in each episode, I'm going to take you to a couple different spots in New York, give it my rating. Each episode is going to be a different category from like restaurants to bars and rooftops once those open up again. So it's going to be really fun. I'm excited about it, but I have started going to some of the restaurants that I'm going to show in the first episode. So tonight, the spot that we're getting dinner is going to be included in that first episode, but I'll still give you guys a little sneak peek of the food in this vlog. And then we're also going to this little bar, like speakeasy called The Garrett. They have a couple different locations in Manhattan, but we're going to the West Village one, which is like this hidden secret speakeasy inside of a Five Guys. I don't know, I feel like the idea of like a hidden secret bar is like more fun, even though it's not that much of a secret. Literally everyone knows about it, but it feels like you're in on something cool. So I'm just getting ready for that now. And the reason that I'm like going out more and socializing more is because I actually got my COVID vaccine. I've gotten both doses already of the Moderna vaccine, so I'm all done. It's literally the best feeling in the world like I am so so grateful that I was able to get mine and now I can start seeing my friends more and not be paranoid all the time that I am gonna get sick or that I'm gonna get someone else sick that's the only reason that I feel comfortable starting to go to restaurants and like seeing friends again before this I was really like hibernating and only seeing like a handful of people very very exciting but I'm just gonna finish up my makeup right now and I'll show you guys my outfit and everything before I head out. Okay guys, I'm finished getting ready. I really like how my makeup looks today. I feel like it's a good makeup night. All I used on my eyebrows was the Benefit brow gel and I actually really like them. It's like a more natural brow, but I like it. I'll show you guys all the products that I used really quick in case you're wondering. This is everything that I used for my skin. So I used the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And then I used this Milk Cream Bronzer for the first time, and I'm obsessed with it. Shape Tape for concealer, the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, the Charlotte Tilbury Liquid Highlighter, and then I set, like, under my eyes and stuff with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I also used this eyeliner pencil from Armani. It's kind of hard to see, but it's, like, a really, really dark brown color. Before I head out, this is my outfit of the night. I'm wearing leather pants because I feel like the days that we have left of this season to wear leather pants are very few. So I'm getting some wear out of them before it's too hot. But these are the Aritzia Molina pants. I know everyone raves about these and I waited a little while to get them, but I finally made the purchase a couple of weeks ago and I do not regret it. They are incredible. I got the long version, so they hit like perfectly when I'm wearing heels, but they also don't drag on the floor when I'm wearing sneakers either. They're just perfect and so flattering and just a staple. I love them. And then I'm wearing this mesh little crop top from Princess Polly. My shoes are also from Princess Polly. I love these heels. I've been wearing them a ton and they're super comfortable, but we're gonna head out and I'll show you guys the spots when we get there. Wow! I really like it. I like okay. the 
cut. Good morning, it is Sunday now. It's actually Easter Sunday, so I hope you guys had a happy Easter if you celebrate. My family and I do celebrate Easter, but it's very like laid back. This year we're actually doing Easter with my friend Madison and her mom, so they're coming over to my parents' house later this afternoon. But I'm gonna go over there now, bring Lennon with me, and we're gonna have brunch and just like chill for the day and spend time with family. So yeah, it's gonna be a nice day. I'll show you guys my casual Easter outfit. I need to clean those clothes back there, just ignore that. I'm wearing this sweater from Tiger Mist and then my A Goldie 90s mid-rise jeans, some Air Forces, Jennifer Fisher hoops, and that is it. It's supposed to be a beautiful day out, I'm excited.